Hey, good morning, guys. I'm going to get to that video in just a second, but we have been able to confirm that the Lake County Sheriff's Office says that one person has died and it's a male victim, but they have not identified that person just yet. But let's get to that video. I want you guys to take a look at this. There's a neighbor here whose son was actually playing basketball in the front yard when that explosion happened. Take a look at this. Well, it was pretty scary to see that happen because anything could have actually happened. Debris could have hit them. Uh, there's multiple items that actually blown and hit the other building. If they were playing on this side, anything could have happened. So that was pretty scary. Yeah, that's Ulysses Hernandez. He lives just one house away from where that explosion took place, but his child was not hurt in that explosion, but it definitely was shook up. Now, fire crews are telling us this happened around 8.30 last night here on North Overhill Road. Lake Zurich firefighters said they arrived on a scene in six minutes. They said they found the home fully engulfed in flames. Because of this explosion that happened in unincorporated Lake Zurich, it required response from Lake Zurich Fire Protection District, as well as multiple other fire departments. And as of 12.30 this morning, fire Curtis were still searching for the 77 year old male homeowner in the rubble within the last hour though Lake County Sheriff's Office has confirmed the body of a male victim was recovered that person has not been identified now neighbors say the homeowner is retired and lives alone two neighboring households were also damaged in the explosion but those residents have been accounted for we did speak to one neighbor who told us her whole house shook when that explosion happened take a listen just this loud Boom. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. It it sounded like a tree fell, but there was no like real sh shaking except for just that quick second. So like if a tree falls, you know, you get the after effect. It was just boom and then yelled who did that and ran out the door after that and saw flames. Again, a body has been recovered in that rubble. That person has not been identified just yet. In the meantime, we know that crews are out here starting that investigation into what caused this explosion to happen last night. Of course, we're going to continue to monitor this and bring you the latest as we receive it. We're now live in unincorporated Lake Zurich. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.